The promise of golden riches has motivated explorers throughout history, and no treasure has proved more irresistible or more deadly than the legendary Lost City of Gold. In Peru, it is known as Paititi, and it continues to attract modern explorers, and with good reason. New evidence from the vaults of the Vatican in Rome and from high in the mountains in Peru suggests the city might actually be real. The year is 1532. Spanish conquistadors led by Francisco Pizarro begin the wholesale destruction of the entire Incan Empire. Meanwhile, the Spanish are plundering vast quantities of gold and silver. News of Pizarro reaches the Incan capital of Cusco, high in the Andes. According to legend, the Incans retreat to a mountain city so secret, so remote, that the Spanish are never able to discover it. To many, Paititi is nothing more than a myth, a golden illusion fueled by the fantasy of unimaginable wealth. But well-known explorer Greg Diarmengian has spent 30 years trying to find the lost Incan city of gold, and he's been the first to document many impressive Incan ruins along the way. And now, he's mounting a new expedition to find it. And I'm going with him. I'm on an expedition through the Peruvian jungle in search of Paititi, the lost Incan city of gold. Guys, I can see the river. Our trek has taken us to the Urubamba River, but I should always remember to keep my eyes on what's directly in front of me especially if it's a hornet's nest. No, 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 regresa, 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 regresa. Get away from them, get down by the water. The guys in the front of the group stepped on a, like a hornet's nest or a wasp's nest. We all just got stung up. God, it hurts. Okay. Fernando and I took the brunt of the attack and spent a few painful minutes pulling stingers out of our arms. Then it's back on mission to follow the legend and cross the river in the footsteps of the Inca. So Paulino is going to seek passage across. Okay, so first the wasps, now we gotta get across the water. Paulino plans to tie a rope to the other side so the expedition team can safely cross. We're miles from civilization and the nearest hospital. Much like the explorers hundreds of years ago, one slip and it's game over. The force of the river is tremendous. I can feel the current rushing past my legs. That water's cold. I reach the other side, a bit wet, very cold, but in one piece. Okay. With the river behind us, we find ourselves in uncharted territory. From here, the Incas followed primitive trails deep into the Peruvian Amazon, and we follow in their path. We hike, and hike, and hike, and then a break. Ah, las construcciones. Ah, so, muros. Some sort of habitation or construction, it looks like, but it's super overgrown. The structure is definitely man-made, but is it Incan? Whatever it is, the only way to find out is to climb inside. Okay. Whew. That really goes down there, doesn't it? Okay. Look at this. It's a whole house down here. It's a whole structure. If the Incas built this buried complex, it could hold clues to the lost city. Paulino, have you seen this before? No? Has anybody ever seen this? <laughs> Maybe not. This because is new. Who's going to come around here except us nuts? <laughs> but look at how fine it is. It's in perfect condition. Yeah. And perfect angles. 
it's kind of I have chills. It's to, to be able to hack through something, drop down into here, and yeah. see it's something that's never been documented. Neglected for 500 years, and now it sees the light of day. Oh my God, it just keeps going. Did the Incas leave anything behind to tell us where they went from here? More ruins, more ruins, more ruins. Everywhere you look, it just goes on and on. This is the unknown, right here. This is a mystery. There's an overgrown trail that leads away from the structure, and I'm all too eager to follow it. I don't know if this was an isolated fortress, or perhaps it's part of the lost city itself. Galvanized by the find, we push deeper into the unknown. Whoa, whoa, big wall, look at that. This is something. Oh my God, look at this. This is fabulous. Everywhere I look, stacks of ink and stone. Huge. Yeah. This is Absolutely so long. It huge. Has to be very important. This is incredible. Yep. As I hack and slash, I'm desperate to find any clues that might connect this new discovery to the city of gold. Hey, Greg, come here. Greg, look, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Look. Whoa. This is one fine piece. Look at this. So what do we got? It's a ceramic piece that would be of high imperial Lincoln style and yet rustic. So probably locally made at the time. And the markings. It's all representative of, as it looks, a face, a face most yeah. likely. It's hard to believe that the artifact I'm holding was crafted by Incan hands hundreds of years ago. To me, you can't put a price on that. So, so what is this place? This site is very unique. Uh -huh. And you won't find this place documented anywhere. And this is why when I hear people saying all oh, the world has been mapped, that's silly. Yeah. Because there's this place is covered. This is just so unbelievable. Greg believes this is part of a site known as Uncayoc, a massive and largely undocumented Incan city. Until more resources can be devoted to its excavation, it will remain buried in the jungle. So better to leave it as it is until it can be properly managed. It's the lesser of two evils, I believe, than to have a half-baked effort that might attract people to come in and look for artifacts, and further destroying it. And what about Paititi? Is Paititi out there? That series of roads that all connect with each other, and combined with all so many legends. It may not be with a capital P, it may not have the treasure of the Incas, in fact, it probably doesn't, but there is some site that it all leads to. 